The All Progressive Congress in River State, loyal to the Transportation Minister, um, Minister Rutimi Amechi, celebrated the Supreme Court's decision to strike out an appeal filed by the Igoaguma um, faction, who was declared as the chairman of the Ketika Committee of the APC in River State. Now, to discuss this, we have APC spokesperson for River State, Ogbun Nanguke, and uh, acting chairman of APC River State, Golden Ben Choma. Thank you, gentlemen, for joining us. Thank you. All right. I'm going to start with you, Mr. Nguke. Tell me exactly what this means, this Supreme Court decision. Um, what does it mean for the factions that are actually um, in the APC in River State? Oh, I, we believe that uh, the decision has finally really laid to rest the arguments that have gone back and forth over uh, what the situation in the APC in River State is. Uh, my friend in the studio, uh, by raising himself as uh, acting chairman of the party. But the truth is, looking at the decision that the Supreme Court has taken uh, in throwing away this uh, case, uh, the right thing for him to do uh, is to stop the parade because he is he's not chairman. The foundation upon which he built his house has collapsed. So. For us in the APC, we think that better days are ahead, that uh, reason will be restored in our party, and that everyone who is a genuine member of the APC must come back, we we'll sit around the table and have a very same conversation. Well, the people, the people in uh, with Igu Agoma, in fact, he made an argument saying that um, the appeal had already been withdrawn uh, for being statute barred um, as a pre-election matter. So that this, this thing that you guys are calling an appeal uh, is not, it doesn't exist because he, did, he withdrew it even before this happened. So, I mean, I'm trying to understand what this means. Of course, you know that this is a safe, free saving measure. The truth is, frankly, if you know you don't have a good case and you, you are technical about it, you, you advise your lawyers to withdraw from the court. You didn't go to court so you can withdraw a case. The truth is, they had a bad case. They knew it. They knew they were wasting the court, the time of the court rather. And because of that, it became necessary at that point to ask the lawyer to withdraw the matter. So they didn't do us a favor. They didn't do the court a favor. It is just that they knew that they were wasting the time of the court. Okay, Mr. Golden Chama, where, where does your faction stand on this matter right now? Because um, they're declaring victory and they're saying that, you know, um, this case has been struck out. And so your faction ceased to exist, per se. And the committee that Igor Aguma was representing seems to have collapsed. What is your side of the party saying? Yes, um, maybe. Ignorance is a very bad thing. And when it comes from somebody I hold so high, I begin to get scared that most people parade to be knowledgeable and educated, but unfortunately, they are not. Mary, the matter that was in court is an interlocutory appeal which we made while the matter was still at the court of appeal level. When we made that appeal, it was the court. The court of appeal there has not given a judgment. We went to the Supreme Court. We were at the Supreme Court when the court of appeal now gave a considered judgment. Now, with that judgment, we now had to appeal to the Supreme Court, which now meant that our interlocutory appeal now became academic and was also caught up with what we call pre-election, which mm -hmm. means it was now statute bad. We needed to withdraw that arm of our appeal. It had nothing to do with the main appeal itself. The main appeal is still subsisting and still at the Supreme Court. So does when this our, so our does this does this mean that you're going that ahead? On the fact that 
Does this mean that you're going ahead no. with the primaries, uh, uh, sorry, getting you ready for the local government elections in River State? Does this mean that you're still going to go ahead with it even after the national um, um, publicity secretary of your party has asked that you will um, disband and follow suit uh, because they had said that you should not participate in that election in the state? Mary, Mary, that is not an issue here. We would contest the election. We are contesting, and the election will be held sometime in April, and APC will be on the ballot. Who's sending the, the list? Who's sending your list? Who's sending... I'm sorry, sir. Who's sending your list? Because the list of... The list is sent is... by... Thank you. The list of the local government is sent by the state not by the national but as for it, local government elections. But as it stands, the national it does not recognize your... You. The, the national does not recognize your uh, faction of the party. Uh, Mary, the national recognizes the ESCO. The former National Working Committee of the party did make letters available to us and also made pronouncements recognizing the judgment. The other faction also did the same thing by accepting the judgment. The only thing that have changed is that when they lost in court, they went backwards and brought back Isaac Obobula and resurrected, resurrected him. That does not change the issues in hand. If you ask that one question, why were they celebrating? If we do not exist, a court yes. only made a ruling of an application which our lawyer made to withdraw, and they went about jubilating. That is to show you that we are the authentic escort, hmm. not to law, <laughs> and we are protecting the party APC from the social club level, which they have uh, decided to. But because of the fact that they have an individual. Mary, I think that this man is taking too much time. I, I should also that be able to say one or two things at this point. Okay, can we let Mr. Muke come in here? I think he wants to disagree with you on something quickly because we don't have time. Mr. Muke, come in. What would you like to say in response to this? You see, the, 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 there's an attempt to be clever by half. The argument that uh, the APC is not a social club is not tenable here. Truth is, we have a set of non-conformists who think that what is necessary is the sound of their voice. Men of reason within the party have taken common positions. They have said, Isaac Obobula, who was named prior to the time that Igor Agoman went to court, remains the chairman of the Kerika Committee. Now, they have made entries, which we are aware of, before the National Secretariat, and their arguments couldn't fly. Now, what is surprising here is that they persist. Now, if you are a member of a family, for example, you live by the core values of your family. You cannot set new rules for your family. Okay. Now, the, the rules are clear. The right to appoint a theatrical committee chairman is that of the National Secretary. So, I do not understand. You have asked him who presents the, the list. Now, how can an interloper present the list before a research? All right. That shows you that they are part of a game plan. Gentlemen. They are working with the PDP, and the plan is simply to destabilize the FPC. Uh, quickly, in, in closing, because my, my guys are saying we need to go. Um, one last thing. We know that at the core of all of this is a disagreement that started in 2019, if I'm not mistaken, between the uh, Minister of Transportation and the Senator Magnus Abbey, um, who wanted to run for governorship. And then we had parallel primaries which held in the state. And that has graduated into what we're facing today. And the APC is still having this faction issue. Is there a, a, a handshake uh, across the table that's going to happen sometime soon? Is there a call from any side to sit down and address this issue going forward if the APC must continue to be a strong party in River State? In, in one sentence each, I'll, I'll, I'll start with you, Mr. Wuke, quickly. 
the, the question to ask is why do we head to court when it is time to go to the field? Right? Each time you plan to have a Congress, this gentleman would rather go to court. Is the Congress the answer? The to the, is the Congress the, an answer to the problem right now? Is that what you should be considering, or having a handshake across the table? Well, um, um, Mr. Shama, quickly answer this because we need to go. Yeah, now, um, the, the, the issue is that we have really, been having a To be fair to you, the party is trying to resolve all the problems. I also hear that some fire has been resolved. I also pray that we will resolve ours in River State so that this party can be better. There's okay. no one man, okay. including my friends on the other side, that can claim to be more APC than us. All right, gentlemen, we have to leave it there. Golden Chama is the acting chairman of the APC in River State. And, of course, Obona Wuke is the spokesperson for the APC in River State. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for being part of the program. We'll take a short break, and when we come back, I'll give you my take. Well, here's my take. Is there really true multi-party democracy in Nigeria? Big question, eh? These crises across, uh, crisscrossing and uh, to and from party A to party B, does this not show how extremely flawed our democratic system in Nigeria is? Where is the place of party loyalty, ideologies, and standing for something in order for you not to fall for anything? Do we really have political parties in this country or just a club of selfish men and women that move to the next best, best thing uh, for money or power purposes only. People who assume saintly positions once they are in the party, in power, and then vilify the others who aren't in their camp, pointing accusing fingers only to change their song and tune once those same people join their club. So really, what are we doing? That politician you swear by and defend with all your might, have you stopped to ask them what they stand for? Why they're part of these parties and what those parties believe in and what their lifelong mandate is? How are you unable to see through these politicians and your paymasters? Are you their number one priority? Well, next time you want to defend or fight for a politician, ask yourself these questions because 2023 is getting close and they'll come for your vote. So get smart. I am Mary Anacle, thanking you for watching.